back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a wee dabbler. Um, it's Storm Franklin rolls in through Northern Ireland here this morning. So hopefully you can get at the base sometimes today. This is just one of my own wee patterns. So I'm just going to show you how to put it together. Now the hook in the base is a Camazon B175 in size 10. Ties down to a size 12. And this maybe as big as a size 8. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly, starting off with, is the Uni 3801 weight. That's just to keep the body nice and bright because we're going to use a, a no bomb mirage tinsel. Right, I'm just going to run on our thread. Just bring our thread down past the, the point of the hook and remove the, the waist tag, the tail, some bronze mallard fibers. Now you want the, the bronze mallard, you can have the tail as long or as short as you like, it's up to you. I usually go by around about the, the length of the hook over the back, around with a pinch and loop, and then three turns heading down the hook to tie in the tail. Come in and trim this the length of the bottle. The rib is going to be the ultra wire and chartreuse. So we'll just get a uh, a bit of this off. A couple of turns will catch that in. The body. Open mirage tinsel. Enlarge. Now if you use a different coloured thread other than the white you'll get a different flavour to the body. So if you want it darker you know, use a a darker thread like a black something like that or if you want it brighter you can use a uh, fire orange chartreuse I just want to keep the, the opal mirage flavour in it so just want to work my thread up just hang everything in and I want to come up with the opal mirage tinsel Just an overlapping turns. Follow this around with my thread. A couple of tight turns in to secure. Come and trim away the excess. At this point I'm going to switch over to the black. So this is just the Uni 3801 black. Just tan up over the top of the white. And simply come in and keep the whole ear white tang thread, just come in and trim away your waist piece of black and your white tang thread. The body hackle is going to be a grizzle, dyed olive. Now this is a hen, this is a hen hackle and I get these from Lakeland. Yeah, let me see, that's just too big. Get another one. Guys, it suit the, suits the fly. So we're just going to just take away some of the fibers to bar the stem. We'll tie this in. Come in and trim away the excess stem. Then I'm going to get two turns going at the front. And then I'm looking three, four turns down the body. Just don't want to cover all your pearl or your opal mirage now keep a hold of your tip just follow this around with your wire and then you're looking four turns of the chartreuse ultra wire up the body sweep everything back bring your wire up in front follow that around with your thread nice tight turns in come in and bend and break away the wire break away the tip of the haggle at the back the next hack on front of that is going to be a waiting lace wing, which has been dyed chartreuse. Just look at one of the smaller hackles at the bottom. We'll tie this in. So I'm just going to come around with a couple of turns to catch in the tip. Sweep the tip back. Just tie up over the top of the tip. Now I'm just getting a level bit of thread down at the front. 
and then I'm making two, three turns of this. Just depends how much you want to see of the the chartreuse. this room with my thread, get a couple of tight turns in, and we're going to come in and trim away the stem of the haggle, and bring our thread down to the eye, and back up, just get the, the level bit of thread down at the front. The throat, I'm going to put in some bronze mallard for the throat, so just come in, just bring out your bronze mallard, just grab them, tear them away, and then what you can do is you can just fold this in just to thicken it up on itself, and then you can offer this in underneath. Right, I'm just going to offer it in underneath, and then I'm just going to do a pinch and loop up the way, a couple of turns. Now, I just want to see what way that's what way that's sitting, and you spread it out a wee bit as well. And then another couple of turns once I'm happy. Come in and trim away the cut ends. And we'll just down and tidy up over these and back up. And then the wing. So I like to use the, the, the larger bronze mallards for the wing. So I'm just going to come in and take away all the rubbish. Come in and Bring out enough bronze mallard that you like to see in your wing. Turn that away. And then we're just going to fold this in. I should fold in the bronze mallard, the larger stuff, two, three times. And that's your wing. And then I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. And you can have this as long or short as you like. It's entirely up to you. I just like mine to be coming sort of way, just slightly less or just around about halfway the tips coming into the tail. Then we're just going to come in and hold it on top. We'll come around with a pinch and loop. Take a couple of tight turns. And then we can see where our wing's sitting. Yep, happy enough for that. So I'm just going to hold my wing. Nice pair of sharp scissors, come in and trim the excess of the bronze mallard, bring your thread to the eye, and then just build up your head. Just nice and tight. Just putting that nice shape you want to see in your in your head. Keeping your thread tight. Straight in. Throw in a whip finish. Trim away your tying thread. Now the first coat I'm going to put on the head. It's just a coat of super glue. Just, a, you just take your time. You don't want this running into your your dressing. It'll just ruin your wee fly on you. And all your work. So there you go guys, that's my old wee pearly dabbler. So you get a wee chance today, you're at the vase, I'm sure you can hear the maybe hear the rain hitting my roof here. Um it's not a day to be going out, it's a day to be spending your time at the vase. <laughs> anyway, tie a few of those up. You face your locks, you face for trout, good wee fly, and hopefully they can catch you a few fish. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And until next time, please stay safe and tight lanes.